另外一个。I hope the story tender knows somewhere we can get above the clouds. It's always nice to see you. Welcome back, girls. It's always nice to see you. How can I help? We need to get above the clouds since Carto's granny can't land her airship. Who's what can't land her? Her? Sorry, it's a long story. Maybe you'll read about it one day. Do you know of anywhere that's tall enough that we can get above the clouds? Hmm. Actually, the top of the story chalet goes pretty high up. But it's just a small house. It might appear that way, but you'd be surprised. I once find myself on the very top floor. There are no books up there, but the view was breathtaking. Wow, okay, can you show us how to get up there? I'd be happy to, young miss, but I haven't reached the top floor again since. This can be com a complicated place, I'm afraid. Though I can show you what I know, please follow me. Ah, here we are. This looks This looks more like the basement than the top floor. Yes, yes, it's just the basement, but let me regale you a moment. It was a normal morning many moons ago, and I was doing my rounds of the chalet. Reading the new chapters, feeding the spiders, that sort of thing. I was still half asleep and wandered into a door I didn't recognise. Before I knew it, I was rocking upward and it spilled me out of the top of on, on top floor. That sounds... That sounds more like a dream you had. It's always a possibility, uh, but I spent the entire day up there, and my sunburn was very real. It had the most glorious views of the forest. I'd never been so high up. I've hoped to find my way back there ever since. With the smarts on you girls, I bet we can figure out how. I'm not sure that story quite adds up, but it's the only lead we have. Let's look around and see what you can find, Carto. The strength of a tree is measured by the growth of its roots, as they say in the wildwood, and the mother tree is the strongest of them all. When fully grown, the mother tree's root system extends across the entire world, deep underground. This growth proceeds Process takes roughly a thousand years based on the sapling used to spur her growth. A rarely seen door allowed a scant few story tenders access to the observation deck. 
Someone scrawled a message across the page. The top floor is real and I found the way up. Well, found the way there. I don't have enough space to fully explain, but this should get you started. Good luck, future story tenders. A small scroll of paper flutters down. Ah, I see. I see, I see, I see, I see. Message in a beetle. The spotted sand beetle moves it... Wove its way through the burning desert sands on assignment from the captain of the water seekers. Whoever doesn't know is Beetroot's other half, which I've just remembered. Bore a message that a new oasis had been found, that it was time for the rest of the tribe to join the seekers. This particular species of beetle could absorb the harsh rays of the sun, channeling them into energy to power its sand shoveling mandibles. Its natural predators included the prancing asp, the luminescent fox, and poisonous tarantula, but it evaded them all. The beetle arrived just in time as the tribe's water supply dwindled and enjoyed a reward of candy cactus nectar for its troubles. Little cartographer. The little cartographer had just barely missed her granny at the iceberg, but she knew she was close. All she had to do now was to find somewhere tall enough to get above the clouds. Get it back to the story, shall I? Short as it was, or was it? Damn it, I can't get through the door. Damn, I can't get that way either. Damn it. No, I didn't mean to go out flip. Neverwinter Naps, another legend of the iceberg, involves a miraculous drink called Neverwinter. Created by a mixture of several types of ice and local herbs, Neverwinter puts its drinker into a, the drinker into a deep hibernation. In this way, they can sleep through the winter safely, until being woke up by the first light of spring. The recipe has been lost to time, through local mixologists are always experimenting, hoping to, dis to rediscover it. The first settler of the iceberg was merely a child, lost and adrift at sea, separated from his people. Upon his arrival, a pack of Foskies took great in interest in him, and nurtured him as one of their own. They taught him how to hunt, communicate with the other dogs, and keep himself warm. The settler swore that he'd find a way for future generations to have the support of the Huskies whenever they were needed. Keelan and her forgetful husband Gatta were missing their son more than usual that day. Gatta was out strolling the shores as he often did before getting lost, but that day he found a bottle sitting on a north pier as if it had been left just for him. He had a message inside, and he was so excited that he managed to find his own way home. His wife removed the message and unfurled it, and immediately burst into tears. I'd recognise this handwriting anywhere, she said. My son wrote this. Their son's heartfelt message had crossed the ocean somehow, and arrived just when they needed it the most. Alright, okay. Pardon me. Right, so we need to go up. Sucks. We need 
need to go all the way to the end of this room to get to the last room down here. Okay, we've already been there as well, which also sucks. Nope, that was not what we meant to do. Here we go, another book. The grasslanders had started to notice that their sheep had become unusually fast of late. They strayed far from their shepherds and devoured cabbages at an alarming speed. After some detective work, the grasslanders determined that rubber plant seeds had been spread around the town somehow. The last source of rubber in their region were used to manufacture magic boots which hadn't been seen in, a, in decades. But the grasslanders were glad to have new seed samples to cultivate. Soon their sheep were back to a reasonable speed. Ahem. The Goat Attraction. After the eruption subsided, the Palmer family rode goats to the mouth of the volcano to survey the changes. The cooled lava rock had created a series of tunnels and slides as far as the eye could see. Dare they ride their goats down the slides, they wondered. And thus, a new world famous attraction was born at the luxurious Lava Lodge. I assume now we've got to figure out the um, thing before we get any more books. So now we've actually got to figure out this puzzle. Right, so, let's do this, I need some room, then so let's start at the top, we need some room and then that, so the sun room is probably the cactus, let's move all our rooms away. So I can only assume it's rooms that actually link. So we've got cactus, wavy lines. Then something, something, then oblivion gate. Something, something, oblivion gate. So... I'm assuming there's something above that, is that, so I'm assuming the thing above the Oblivion Gate is that, that could be either, I'll try that one, and then we've got three blanks at the bottom. Again, yeah, we've got three blanks at the bottom, so we need the cactus at the bottom actually. So the cactus is at the bottom there. So that means that triangle's there. And then that means the last three are that, that, and that. The puzzle has been successfully completed. That's the door, you found it. Woo, woo, come on, Carto. I'm, I'm gonna look everywhere first. Sod you people, I'm looking and making sure I've got all the books. A sensibility. So I finally figured out the way the entire part of this building is supposed to be. Probably never figured out the way all the rest of the maps were supposed to be, but never mind. There's someone else somewhere. 
Alright, so let's go and follow them to, to the top of the thing. It's a tree. Oh, it's mother grown already. Yeah, there's the glow tree. So yeah, it hasn't taken long. Whoa, I've never been this high up. Is anyone else dizzy? My, my, it's just as magnificent as I remember. And would you get a load of that tree? Though I'm sorry, girls, it looks like we're still below the clouds, even up here. Don't worry. Don't worry, Carter, we just need to get a bit higher. How about on top of that enormous tree? It's hard to tell, but it looks like it goes even higher up than we are now. And maybe it's still growing. I'd say it's worth a try. I'm going to stay here and enjoy the view for a bit. Who knows when I'll find my way up here again. Thanks for the help, Mr. Story Tender. Come on, Carter, let's make like a tree and visit that tree. Ancient typewritering, this ink looks a bit dramatic. Ancient typewritering, this ink looks a bit sad. Ancient typewritering, this ink looks a bit funny. Best of luck on your journey, journey girls. And thank you for helping me find this place. I'll never forget it again. Time for some elevator action! Welcome, beardless messengers. Mother's been expecting you. She told me to gather everyone here, that the time for family has come. Mother says to thank you for your help in her rebirth. And now it's time for her to help you. You may enter her embrace. Lend mother the energy of the land and she will take you where you want to go. Are you ready, Ted? Up! This is so exciting! Hello there! If you think mother is impressive now, you should see her when she's fully grown. Hi ho! Phew! It can get kinda hot out here when you're as furry as us. Good thing mother keeps us cool with her shade. Vulture source high, you'll go higher. Small one. Isn't mother marvellous? Chirp sapling must have been special to make her grow this quickly. Chirp's getting the hang of this watcher thing. Wow, this place is so cool, Ricardo. Are these your friends? They look pretty tough. Are these you friends? Great. 
Smiley face. Alright, let's go. To the treetops! Unreal. Are we finally high up enough? It looks like the clouds are still above us. Disappointed face. Let's have a look. Maybe we can spot somewhere even taller than this. You can see the whole world from up here. It almost looks like a... Doing this is so exciting. You're holding such a big piece of the map. Smiley face. Are you putting everything together? Smiley wink face. Connect every piece of the map. Oh god. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Alright, let's flip that. Let's put that elsewhere. That'll actually do. Don't matter where they're connected by the sounds of it. So that'll actually do. Flip this one around. There we go. Now that will work. And we can have that not there. Damn it. Right, let's rotate this one around. There we go. Now it'll work. I think that's how we originally had it. Switch these two pieces. Complete map. Oh, that's the grassland we first sailed to. It feels like forever ago. Oh, there we go. Right. So every map now has to. Join together. I'll do. That's the forest all around us. Do you feel that rumbling? That map's small. We know about that one, though. The story chalet. Hi, Mr. Story Tender. Hi, Beetroot Silver Half. Is that the desert you travelled to? It's enormous!
Oh. God, this one's going to be awful. Don't think it's 100% easy to do this one. Right. Got an idea. Got an actual idea how to do this one. Is this all good? Damn it. Right, here we go. There we go. Then let's set the volcano over here. The volcano! But that rumbling is getting stronger. Is it going to erupt again? Oh, this will probably be the hardest one to do, because, you know, it's so puzzling. Right. Got a bit of an idea of this one. Okay, this might not work. We've got other ways to do this, so it's fine. Two more pieces to put on. That can do that. There we go. We got that map done as well. I really miss those iceberg pups. But Carter, that rumbling is getting serious. You did it, Carter. We're above the clouds. Can you see your granny? Your granny must be close by. Find each other, dear girl. It was only a matter of time, or should I say, a mapper? Heart. You've been so resourceful to track me here, and you found all the pieces of our map. A true master cartographer, just like your granny. And who is your companion? Hello, ma'am. I Shannon. I would say I've heard so much about you, but Carter is a little on the quiet side. Wink. She's the best, though. 
She's taught me so many things. Where's she gone? And we've been to so many cool places. And, and, and. I want to hear all about them, child. But now that we're all together, why don't you show me a few first hand? We can take the airship and we'll use the map that you girls recovered. You can introduce me to some of your new friends and take me to your favourite spots. Smiley face. Shannon? Thanks, I'd love to join. Lead the way, Kato. See why you wanted me to meet him, fine specimen. Why, why, thank you, man. Yeah, okay, look, it's going too quick. I can't keep up with this. Too many different voices. So, have fun reading. There we go, we've completed it. Not fully, so I've got a couple of achievements to go, but...
Hey Sharon, it's so nice to be back with Granny, but I miss you lots. The skies have been beautiful. It's only been a week, but we've already seen so many, so many amazing things. We even made it through another storm. We're preparing. We're prepared for anything now. Thank you for being such a good friend to me. I, I hope you find wherever you're meant to be, and I'm sure I'll see you there soon. Also, you won't believe what I found hiding on the airship. One of the iceberg pups smuggled aboard. Good thing she likes seafood stew. Anyways, we all miss you. Write me back when you can. Love, Carto. P.S. Granny says hi. Ah, oh, Carto. I miss you too. Bark. Huh? Oh, where do you come from? Good girl. The end. The actual end. Chapters mode unlocked. Now when you start a new game, you can either start from the beginning or choose any chapter to begin on. A secrets. Oh, there we go. This is basically So what have we got left? We've got two achievements and I think one of them is to get the map pieces done and the other one is basically side game was that in bloody six So, the 
this has been me finishing Kato. I'm not going to come back and do the achievements while streaming because that will be pretty boring for you guys because that will just be going back to chapters and reading the books. So that's all I've got to do. Try and get the last ones. So I'm going to do that off stream. But this has been Irian from the Variety Gamers UK and this has been me playing Kato. So thank you for watching and happy gaming.